morning. It is the 11th of October, Tuesday. It's, um, it's about 7 a.m. I'm still on the ferry. We've got about an hour until we make it to the port of Barry. It's a pretty rough night for sleep. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So we found like a little quiet area. We just laid the sleeping bag out and we're to bed there. Forget I ever said that it's true love enough. Mamma mia, it's Italy, just out there. And universal love. Finished exploring outside. Now I'm gonna go find Olivia. It's pretty cold out here. I think we're 45 minutes from getting to the port of Barry. Look at these engines, they're so loud! Pretty cool out there. Yes, it's nice Yeah. We just got the call to go back to the car. We're heading there now. There's Joey! made it through um, customs, it was a bit of a line and there was like lots of heavy security and they were checking over cars pretty thoroughly but our car didn't get checked that much so we got through pretty crazy. We parked the car, now we're heading into like the main city centre of Barry. Getting some food at a cafe, got some lattes, and using the internet, and their electricity. Killing time in the Disney store, Olivia's favourite place. Happy, happy. <laughs> we're both really tired today. Not too sure if we're going to do much, just walk around aimlessly. What do you think of Barry, Olivia? Yeah. You seem to run into the more locals and like see just general what Italians do in everyday life. It's less touristy as well. So we're trying to find like a library so we can just chill out and rest because we're all really tired and really starting to feel lack of sleep. But they don't do any libraries here in Barry, so we're just going to try and find a museum or some place to get through that has Wi-Fi. We can just relax. We've got like I think four hours to kill. Update, we have found a bench, no luck on a library, feeling pretty tired, not a whole lot to report actually. But yeah, still in Barry. We found a bookshop, next best thing to a library, right? Found some Stephen King books. Some of them are in Italian, but Stephen King is probably my favourite author. What have you found? Bushman said to read that, right? Yeah. Leaving the bookstore, we didn't buy any books because it didn't really agree with like our mentality of kind of throwing stuff out because we're going back to Australia. Um, so now we're just walking around, we've got to get some money out. It's just feeling really tired at the moment, it's really hitting us hard. Space. <laughs> <laughs> we just stopped at this like Italian fast food place. They make like homemade pasta with eggplants and ham and mozzarella. It's so tasty. I need to find out what it's called because I'm going to try and make this when we get home. And we're at the ferry port. Cars over there. We're all checked in. We're just waiting to board the ferry. Beers and coffee. This is coffee number four. <laughs> Uh, While we were having a couple of beers and coffee waiting for the ferry, we got to see some real life Sopranos. Um, all these coppers are investigating in this car and a woman's just standing there. And they've ended up like lifting a part of her engine cavity area up and they're all like taking photos. We started with like three coppers and now there's one, two, three, five, 
six coppers there. So, drug bust. That's them over there. That's the lady. And there are all the policemen looking very interested in her car. Once you strip the paint, you find it everywhere you go. And we're on the ferry. We've got these nice little chairs. It's kind of like a cinema experience. No one here just yet, but behind us we've set up a little nest. Yeah, on the ferry. Doesn't leave for another hour. An hour. Boat's about to leave, so that's the end of the day. Love is enough.